<laughs> hey, what's going on, buddy? I got an email from Homeland Security Agent, Africa Regional Office, Benin. This is a message from the office of Mr. Jeffrey Edwards, Secretary of the U.S. Treasury Department. Listen, it is 100% real and you are the only one dealing yourself now to claim your funds without any problem. So if you're re really willing to receive what belongs to you, then get back to us with the information. He asked for my name, num uh, address, and, and phone number. Yours in service, Mr. Jeffrey Edward. Africa Regional Office, Benin. So I replied very simply, hi, Ryan Benson, address, phone oh, number. Wow, this time you did not fuck it up I and didn't. put your personal I got it right. bingo. I got okay. it right this time. So, a bunch of bullshit. This right. is the receipt of your email. To inform you that your international certified bank draft to the tune of 4.8 million US dollars. The required fee of $95 for the IMF International Clearance Certificate can be sent through Western Union, International <sighs> Money Transfer, or MoneyGram. I told him, I have never, I'm just trying to see Fishing a little Fishing, bit. Fishing, yeah. seeing where I can take this. I've never used electronic payment. I can send cash or check, mm -hmm. you know? Back A couple of back and forths. Then he told me to use iTunes gift card. I said, I don't use gift cards because of scams. And then he said, I under just understand you are joking. You were not willing to claim your fund, okay? I said, what are you talking okay, about? Okay. Text me. I don't understand this. I'm just trying to play as dumb as I can. So he texted me right away. He's very responsive right now. Hi, who is this? Then he called me, Mr. Jeffrey Edward. Hi, Jeffrey, how are you doing? I'm okay, good. I will call you back in two minutes. He keeps calling me. Listen, you are the only one delaying us now to deliver your package to you. Yes, hello. Jeffrey? Yes, my friend, how are you? Hi, this is Ryan, how are you? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Um, How's the phone, man? Uh, family is fantastic. Um, I'm sorry for the delay. I just got home. I had to run some errands and get some chapstick. Um, oh. So I, I get four million dollars. Is that true? Yes. Wow, that's exciting. I could buy a lot of chapstick. Oh. I have to send you money. Ninety, as you said, ninety-five dollars or something. $98. I said, that is the only problem we have right now to deliver your check. The bank got to check. Okay, uh, Jeffrey, I can't really hear you, but listen, if you just tell me where to send the money, I don't do gift cards and stuff because I got scammed a long time ago. So I was told never to use gift cards. So, uh, But I can send you the cash. Listen to me. My friend, you have to, uh, you have to uh, uh, follow my instruction and pay attention. I cannot uh, uh, run away with your $98. I am above of that. I can't do that. All I'm doing over here is to make sure that uh, we bring what belongs to you to your home address. I understand, but but what I'm telling you is I'm not able to do electronic money because they, st they stopped letting me do it. I have a Russian... Um, uh, overseer, he he lives in my building and he controls my finances because I just kept sending everybody gift cards. I spent all the money. I actually I actually gave away the apartment building, uh, and I didn't even own it. So he, I have to. Uh, he won't let me. I all I have is cash in my under my mattress. I can send that to you. You have a you have a Bitcoin, so that I can be I can be able to give you our Bitcoin. No, okay, for you to uh, no, but you have anything electronic. I'm not allowed to use it. It's only cat. I have cash, and then I have a couple of checks I can write too. But I don't. They don't let me do electronic money anymore because I'm irresponsible. You mean uh, we have to give you address? Then you will write a check and send to address. Yeah, that, that's that's the only way I can do it. If 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 yeah, but that we can do that. Or I live in California. I can even go go deliver the cash somewhere if you want. But you just let me know what to do. Okay, no problem. Uh, no problem. Uh, I will. No problem. I'll get back to you. Thank you, Jeffrey. Uh, God bless you. Yeah, God bless you. Right, bye bye. Bye 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 bye.
that was easy. <laughs> you can clearly see how he is like, how br his brain works. And yeah. Like, okay, okay. So uh, if he uh, another dude, uh, 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 shit, 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 shit. Yeah, I cornered him. Who do him. I know? Who do I know? Who do I know? He's probably trying to figure out which one of his receivers is primed and ready for a delivery this week. That's why he asked when I could send it, because he wants to know when he needs his receiver available. Yeah. So now he's probably going to find an address. He's working hard on that right now. Oh, so yes. we're wasting his time. And then he's going to come back to me and say, okay, I got, uh, you can send it, but you gotta send it right now, overnight, tomorrow, go, go. Like he's gonna, he's gonna rush it. Rush That's it. my yeah. prediction. I love that I gave him a task. I gave him something to do. I didn't just waste his time. I actually gave him fucking homework. I love that. <laughs> That's a lot of $4.8 million. That's a lot of chopstick that you need chopstick, to Chopstick, yeah. Chopstick. Yeah. I got an address. Okay, good. Take a long, wild fucking guess. Oh, sure, sure. New York! No. Fuck. California! No. Okay, the axis. No. What the fuck, San Francisco? Oh, I'm in Isle California. Didn't take him long to send me an address in Orlando. I just about to say, is it Miami? Fuck! Why are they always so fucking far away? Well, pack your bait ba bathing suits. This is the house here. It's technically in. Pine Hills, Florida. Jeffrey Edwards. Here he is. Hello? Yes, my friend. How are you doing? Hi, Jeffrey. How are you? I'm doing good on you. I, I can't hear you too well. Can you can you speak up a little bit? I said I'm doing good. I'm doing good on you. Oh great, thank you. It's good to it's good to talk to you again. How was your weekend? Uh, it it was uh, it was uh, it was uh, so uh, so so good. So Adios. good. Busy. Uh, a lot of work uh, securing the homeland there. All right. All right. So yes. so what's up? Yes, I I, I tell you, you know, to. Uh, so that you can be able to tell us exactly what is going on because we are waiting for you yes. to proceed ahead. Yeah. As we discussed last Yes, yes, yes. No, I have I have everything ready. I'm just waiting to get paid from my job. Um I, I was checking my finances and I there there um I didn't realize how bad it was after after last weekend. Um so I'm getting paid on Wednesday night. I usually get a direct deposit from my work. On Thursday morning, I'll I'll pay extra to have it overnighted. Uh it's uh, it to to Rita, right? Rita? Is 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 Rita still Rita works for Who is Rita? You you sent me her address. Is is she is she another agent? Yes, she's our agent. Okay. I will I will send it first thing Thursday morning and it'll be in Rita's hands uh first thing Friday morning. Okay. That is good. Okay. But, uh, you know, I can, you know, that is good. But, uh, all right, let me, uh, I'll give you a, a call uh, uh, tomorrow evening. Perfect. Thank you for your help, Jeffrey. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Have a good day. Uh, and you too. Thank you. All right. God bless you. Uh, God, God bless you. How was your weekend? So, so good.
<laughs> you nervous now? <laughs> Hey, what's going on, buddy? Quick question, is it? Are you living? Quick question, I'm looking for Rita. Yeah, she at work right now. Yeah, that's what I figured. Hey, what's going on? Uh, my name is Vlad. All right. So, um, this is like my associate. We busting scammers and we investigate uh, schemes. Okay. So this is the thing what happened. Um, this is Ashton, my business partner. Okay. We live in Los Angeles, California, right? We have a YouTube channel, we're independent uh, filmmakers. Okay. So we uh, scam bait a scammer who said, send us hundred bucks. And you know, like when those spam emails, when you won like $4.5 million, you know, yeah. like that, that spam bullshit. Yeah, that happened to me already. <laughs> well, well that, that might be why. That, it's your wife, right? Huh? Rita. Rita. Rita is your wife? That's my mother. Oh, it's your mom. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The scammer in Africa that is pretending to be Homeland Security. And he told me to send a hundred dollars in cash to Rita at the dad. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, so they using your mom name and address. People into thinking that they're gonna get money, but they're using them to launder it back yeah, to Africa. Yeah, I, I, told, I told her not to do that. You know what I'm saying? I said, man, I said, that's a scam. I told her that. Yeah. And so she got all the, she, she was like, I'm gonna just see. But she got all the records, mm. all the messages that she sent. Yeah. I was like, so every time she gets a payment, from anyone, whether it's mail or moneygram or whatever it is, that's coming from a person who was stolen from. It's coming from a victim. She don't even get no money. That's the whole point. This is the first one that has cash in it. Man, stop playing. Yeah. He told me to send cash to this address. That's oh, why we're here. Oh yeah. 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 Is it any way, like maybe call your mom and just like, if that will be cool? If like, anything, we just want to help her by telling her to stop talking to these people because they're scammers and they're they're using you to launder money to them. They and somehow she probably has no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah she probably don't. Yeah. Now my mom, she go to work. She been working for over same job. For How old is she? If you don't mind me asking. My mom almost fifty seven. Yeah, they they, well, they, they use, and, and, they use and, a lot and, of elderly and, people. And, and my mom been working at the same job for yeah. over thirty two years. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Well, she ain't never stole nothing from nobody. We flew all the way here. Yeah. Hello, hey mom. I got yeah. I got some people out here looking for you. I guess you've been talking to somebody about about some money or something like that. No, I didn't. But this man texted me talking about somebody bringing some money to my house. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi, Rita. Yes. Hi, hun. My name is Ashton. Um, I'm here with my business partner Art, and we what we do is we are uh, we have like a YouTube channel, and we chase down scams and then. Uh, places where scams are starting and laundering money through. I have a yeah. scammer named Jeffrey Edward, and he's in uh, Afri Africa, and he told me to send you cash in an envelope today that's supposed to be delivered this morning. By UPS. Are you expecting a package today? That's what it meant today, but I don't know. I have no idea. The, 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 the last text message I got said, I don't, I don't ask, I don't ask for it, so my... I have to be home to get it. hundred dollars, I think it is something. I don't yeah, hundred dollars. That's exactly yep. it. Do you, do, did he? What did he tell you it was for? Uh, let me look at my text message. Yeah. Sorry to disturb your day, but when when the packages come to you, they're coming from people that were stolen from. From the victims. The people that are telling you to do this are criminals, and so we're trying to help and intervene so they stop taking advantage of you. Hold on one second. Oh, this is a hundred dollars. Yeah, well, but it's a hundred. Sometimes, sometimes it's, it's like the ten grand, six One grand. Last. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Hello. The text message. I'm gonna send a text message to. To your son. I'm mm -hmm. a sister. I want to let you know I have borrowed the hundred dollars a day, and a friend of mine, and they will be bringing the hundred dollars to you tomorrow morning, in your home address. I just want to show who I am, and then it's all you there. I want to let you know. That my friend send a hundred dollars. He borrowed me to you, and you will receive the money. Please get back to me now, and I never respond. And then I got one. The, I got one. The text message this morning. So you have to be home and receive it, okay? From a two five, from a two five three. Yeah, I'm talking to that same guy, and he told me that you are an agent of Homeland Security, and I need to pay you a fee <laughs> to collect my winnings. Four point so five million is, dollars. That guy is a liar and a criminal, and I, we're trying to. We want to at least 
help you by saying don't talk to him anymore because he's using you to steal money from people. Yeah, I ain't even. I haven't even uh, responded to the text messages. No, no. Did he give what, you instructions? Yeah. What What are you need supposed to do with that hundred dollars? To keep it or send it somewhere? I have no idea. No, they didn't give me no instructions at all. Bizarre. So if money will arrive to your address under your name, what would you what would you do with that money? Because it's supposed to be cash hundred dollars. I have no idea. I, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know what to do neither. Yeah. How the, how from the beginning she got in touch with that person? I don't know. Did he email you first? How did he re, how did he get in contact with you? This number I never seen before. Let me look. Hold on. I'm at work. Hold on. Because here's the other thing too, because if he has more money coming to you, we could potentially help a victim that may be losing money. Like if he's going to send higher a dollar amounts, you know that whoever's sending that is in trouble and might need that money back because they're being stolen from. I can send you all of the uh, all the emails. They're telling me Rita and is a Homeland Security agent. So they're using your name that your Homeland using Security your name and your address and your address all over the internet to scam people to send money to. We flew from Los Angeles from California to here to Orlando, Florida to knock on the door and see who is freaking receiving that money. Yeah. Listen, maybe it's from this man that's been trying to get money from me that told me that I want money for a long time ago. And, and you can ask my daughter-in-law. I told, I told him they need to, they've been scamming money because I sent him 100 dollars. I told him they need to send me my money back. And it says, listen, the problem is from your, your country because my demand tax clearance should be before they are with us to your funds to be cleared to your bank account. And they said, listen, that's the only problem you have to receive your funds in your account. So basically, she, he was saying, send money so she can get money. That's what he was saying. Yeah. And that's how mine started. He yeah. sent me an email saying, you've won $5 million. You just have yeah. to pay a fee to receive it. And then he said, send the fee to Rita. That's how we got here. Wow. So this guy this is, is a crazy. scammer. And, and I don't think, know, Rita, you should be... Um... Don't talk to them anymore because he's just going to keep using you. And he's going to put you in harm's way if this ever... If law enforcement ever got involved, because they're going to think yeah. it's you. Can you ask your mom to send that text message to you so we can see the number hey, of that scammer? That would be really helpful. Yeah. They say, can you send a text message of uh, uh, that number? Yeah. Like right. screenshot of that right. number yeah, so we can at least... Yeah, screenshot the number and then send it. Rita, thank you so much, Rita. Hey, thank you for your help. It really is helpful. And please stay away from that person. Don't reply to him. Don't communicate with anything, because you can be in trouble for people like this. Uh, how, how much money have you lost? Four hundred. Four hundred dollars? Oh yeah. So if if you're willing to, we could maybe get like your email or something. If if you were willing to like maybe do a phone call with us when we're back in LA or something and help us understand how this started. Thing is, I'm always in LA. Oh yeah. Send me your information. I yeah. get it. And I get it. And I get hers. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. I do. Yeah. So I just sent you my my full name and my email. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah just get that's it. my phone. Okay, I appreciate you, fella. Uh, no, thank you. For, thank you, for, thank you for being cool and, um, yeah, well, you know, like, pretty weird, yeah, pretty weird those came, like, you know, strangers. All right, y'all, take it easy, man. Okay, you too. Have a good one. She was like, no, it's my mom, Rita. No, this is cool. Another one victory. How are you? Good morning. Good. How you doing? We're good. We're good. Thank you for taking a moment to talk to us. Um, this particular senior, Jeffrey Edwards, is claiming to be an agent of Homeland Security. I don't know him. I don't know this man from Adam's Apple. This man just called me on the telephone. Exactly. And he's very and he's very aggravating. Matter of fact, he called me um day before yesterday and asked me talking about my sister or what are we gonna do? Are you still you still want to fit? I told him, look, I just got out of the hospital. I don't want to talk about none of this stuff. And he called me, kept calling me, calling me. He talking about, you want to, you want to cancel every, everything I told you. I said, I told you a long time ago, stop bothering me. And then when the hundred dollars for that came, the same day y'all came, and he talking about, he called me, telling me, you did receive it. You just took the hundred dollars and did something with it. I told that man, if that man didn't leave me alone, I said, if you don't leave me alone. He talking about show me the package, show me the package. I said, I had an envelope and I threw the envelope in the trash can. That's what I did. He <laughs> said, Noah, you took the money, you took the money. I said, I don't need no hundred dollars. I yeah. said, I need you to send me my money back. That's what I need you to do. Have you received hundred dollars before from any other people? Never. Okay. <laughs> Never. 
<coughs> Never. How did he first contact you and what did he tell you? They they sent me an email. Mm -hmm. Crazy me, I responded to the email, but it wasn't him, it was somebody else I don't remember. But I I don't know. i lately I've been getting a lot of those emails and I just been like, I'm not even dealing with this and I'm not even dealing with this. The one per, the first one that I did, mm -hmm. and so I told them I um they were just going, going, and then they had different people calling me. And so then I told them, I said, how about if I just go to the police or the FBI and give them all this and let them just handle this because I'm about sick of you guys. I said, if I won money, it doesn't take money to me. I said, in America, if you win, you win. You pay you pay your uh, taxes up front, ever how you want to do it, and you get your winnings. And I said, you guys keep on the milk telling me I need to send y'all thousands and thousands of dollars, and I'm not doing it. And I left them alone. And the same thing with this, this dude. He said, oh, you need to send a thousand this, you need to send, hey, I don't got that kind of money. I'm not giving y'all that kind of money. No, I'm not. And then I said, when you told me to send them $100, I did that. I'm not sending you no $500. I'm not saying, so as you see, as it went, it was $100 here and then $250 here. And then I said, I'm not sending any more money. I'm old. Oh, if you pay this $800, I promise you, my sister, you will get the money. I said, you said that last time. Oh, if I pay this, you'll get the money. That's the only thing keeping you from getting it. And all this other stuff, sending me these little fake documents and stuff like that. I said, you told me that same thing. The same document you just sent me. I, I've been I've, I've been saved everything to my phone. I said, I don't even want to hear. The first person, and they call it said, talking about, we're sending you the card. They sent a bank card from UBA or something like that. And I said, like, okay, well, just let me offset. So they sent it. And I call and I call them back. I said, why would y'all go all the way to send a fake bank card? Don't have my name on it. it don't have a security code. And then it don't ask me for a pin number. And I and I reached out to the bank and I and I let them know what was going on. And I heard no more from them people because I said, Y'all ain't gonna be trying to scam me and tell me all this other stuff crap like that. Right. Rita, where did he have you send the money that you did send? Where did you send it to? It was uh somewhere, I think it was in um Nigeria or something like that. Yeah. To uh, somebody named Kelly, something like that. Uh, how much money? How much have you lost? Yeah, how much did he take from you? $450. It was 100 the last time. And then the other one was like 250, and then the other one was on. I, I I kept I kept up with everything that I sent him. Good, because he was asking me for more, and I told him I'm not sending no more money. I'm not doing this. I'm not taking away from my bills to give to you and I. And then they come up with another story and tell my sorry, my sister, there's a big problem. I'll come up with the other half if you come up with this. I told him I'm not doing it, and I kept telling him the whole while we in the conversation. He went tell me, can you please just send me my money back? Please send me my money back. Please send me my money back. I'm done. I want my $450 and you go about your business and let me go about mine. Leave me alone. We have a company doing this, exposing scams, and we have a very amazing support system behind us to help us do that. Uh, from our company, Trilogy, and our supporters, we would love to give that money back to you. We're going to give you the $450 back. Please, please, please put that money in your family. Pay your bills, whatever you need to do, but don't send that money don't back to Nigeria. Don't, don't talk to him. I'm, I'm done with him. Because I, 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 I told him, I say he would keep on bothering me. I said, I'm going to go to the police or, or somebody because I can't. And and I, and when I mentioned the police and stuff, he'll leave me alone for me. Because I told him, I said, this ain't nothing but a straight scam. How would you, I said, how do y'all sleep at nighttime knowing that y'all taking money from people? I said, you I said that, you can't sleep at nighttime like that. I said, that's wrong for what you're doing. I do whatever I can so y'all can put a stop to it because it's wrong for what they do. Hello? Yes. Jeffrey? Yes, my friend. Hi, thank you for answering. I'm here with my friend. Um, I have the card here. Yeah, I had to uh, I had to borrow money from my friend here. Uh, it, it looks like you're on the, the, the dark side of Mars there. Can you fix your uh, camera or well, something? We cannot see you. We have two cards for you. Give me the card. I can't see you. Right, you sound like you're in the, the biggest cathedral known to man. It's very echoey. Can you just turn the camera on or something so I can, because I, I don't know where you are. Can you see us? Yes, of course. Oh, you can see us. Okay, yeah, okay. this is me, Vlad. I give him money so he can buy the cards for you. What do you, what do you want to do with that? 
No, just out of respect. I mean, I'm going to give yeah, you the card. Yeah, if you can but... see us, we have to see you as well, so we can give you the card. I am seeing you right now, so give me the card. It, uh, yeah, Wait. but your right butt cheek, it's a little bit blurry, so I, I don't know in which position you, you're watching us. Just wave hi to me so I can give you this and we can finish this. This has been so much time. I give you, I give you the card already. Give me the card number. Give me the card. Let me take the number. Okay, but let me let me see you. I am not a kid. I am not a fool. I'm doing my business. I'm so busy in my office. So Je you're not. Jeffrey, just we're doing business. We're, we're doing business together. I have a card here. I just would like to say hello, and then we can be done with this. It's called respect. Goodbye. Goodbye. Jeffrey. Goodbye. Do you have something to hide? Give him. Give him the cards. Give him. Oh, you fucking asshole. Jeffrey, what's going on, man? Is that what's coming from 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 which place? You, 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 Jeffrey, but okay. oh, Jeffrey, is it go? It, it, it's good. <laughs> if you're right now having a sexual relationship with somebody. We can call you after, just tell us like one minute and you're gonna be done. Or bring us in on the phone at least, like, show, you know, I don't want to stare at the wall here. <laughs> Jeffrey, what's going on, man? I'm so tired. I said, if you want to send it, you have to send it. If you don't want to send it, leave me alone. I'm trying to send it. I just need to say, see you so I can show you. Show yourself and we, he gonna give it like, I, I'm on your side. I, I, I'm not on his side. Leave me alone because you are a joker. I am not a joker. He took my money. You I have money. Joker. Why would I joke for three weeks? That's yeah. such a waste of time. You are a big joker. Give him the money. Oh, okay, well then, take, do you want the, him to I'm him. trying, but Jeffrey, just say hi. This is the card. It's real. Give me the card. Give me the card if you want to give me the card. If you don't want to give me the card, then Jeffrey. you're going to get us. Like, we cannot see you. Like, it's, it's just, it's a red hole.